Hey guys, so in your double today without me, you will be looking at your manga anime portrait that we began on Friday. Um, start, let's just review from last lesson. You should have created a color brainstorm. So we were looking at color and symbolism and using color to create symbolism. Uh, remember to focus on warm and cool colors and what they represent. Now, from our discussion, you guys decided that warm colors could symbolize happiness, where cool colors would be more likely to represent sadness. Uh, we also discussed harmonious colors. They are the colors that appear next to each other on the color wheel and that they may symbolize someone who is a little bit more reserved or quiet or shy. Uh, whereas contrasting colors, the colors that appear opposite each other on the color wheel may suggest a sense of confidence. Okay, um, now to start your brainstorm, you need to begin by writing your favorite color. Now, this can be any color. At this point, I don't want you thinking, well, I don't want blue because I'm not sad. If blue's your favorite color, uh, that is telling the viewer something about you. Okay, um, you do, however, need to explain what this color says about you. So why is it your favorite color? All right. Now, remember uh, our brainstorm about me and I said that my favorite color was red and you guys said that this suggested that I was confident, that maybe I was in love, that I um, could at times get angry. All right. So that was just a summary of how red could symbolize me. So I want you to do the same thing for your favorite color. All right. I then want you to pick three more colors that best represent you. And do the same thing. So if you remember on Friday, you suggested that orange would also represent me because it could suggest that I am a happy person. And when placed next to red, it has a calming effect. You also said that purple would represent me because I'm slightly quirky and mysterious. Okay, and the third color you picked for me was green because it is a contrasting color to red, which represented confidence. And maybe I, that I would like to spend time outside. All right. So uh, essentially you are doing the exact same brainstorm, but about yourself. Okay. So finalize that before you begin drawing, please. From there, I want you to start planning your portrait. Okay. So you've decided on the four colors you're going to use. Now you need to set the scene. All right. So where are you going to be hanging out? Outside, inside, are you going to be with people or are you going to be alone? All right, now you need to pick, uh, again, the setting that best represents you. All right, so you might recreate your room. You might have yourself out on a soccer field if that's what you like to do on the weekends. All right, so again, needs to symbolize who you are. All right, um, you also then need to describe your body language. So in this scene, are you going to be sitting down? Uh, standing, interacting with others, what is your body language going to be like and what does that say about you? Okay, so remember on Friday you guys said that I'd probably be standing and I'd be standing up straight to show that I'm confident but I wouldn't be standing with my nose in the air because I, I don't come across as snobby. Instead, I'd probably be laughing to show that I, you know, I'm a pretty happy-go-lucky-like-to-joke-around type of person. All right. So again, you're just explaining your choices. All right. Now, if you want to include other props, for example, headphones, sunglasses, skateboards, soccer balls, etc., whatever, um, you may do that. But again, make sure that they symbolize who you are. Okay. Now, it's time to start drawing. Yay. Now, on your uh, art diary, on a full page, I want you to attempt to draw yourself using the Japanese manga style. Now, um, I have attached a YouTube clip to this Edmodo post. Uh, it goes for about nine minutes, so it's a little bit long, and you can fast forward through uh, sections of it if you feel that it's not being particularly useful. But I do want you to follow the steps of the gentleman in the video, okay? It's just a basic outline of how you can position 
the facial facial features uh, within an anime character. Okay, now um, as far as detail goes in terms of eyes, hair, um, and any sort of expression, it's not particularly useful. So you may need to search for some other YouTube clips that show you how to draw the eyes or, or how to draw the hair. Okay, but I do want to be able to look at your diary and see that you have a sample or practice manga sketch. Okay, before you even attempt to complete your final portrait design. Alright, so when I see you guys on Thursday, I want to see that you have completed your brainstorm, that you have completed a practice manga sketch, and that you have started or at least finished your um, sketch for your final copy. Okay, now um, if you do not get up to colouring or painting, that's fine. You do not need to, okay, but you do need to be ready for colouring it on Thursday's lesson. Alright, have fun guys, be good and I will see you on Thursday.